Melania Trump stands out as one of the most unique first ladies in American history, with a profile quite unlike her predecessors. She's only the second first lady in U.S. history born outside the country, after Louisa Catherine Johnson Adams, wife of President John Quincy Adams, who was born in England. But that's not all. Melania is the first first lady born in a former communist country and the only one who wasn't her husband's first wife, as Donald Trump had been married twice before. One of her most remarkable qualities? Her linguistic talent. Melania speaks more languages than any other first lady, fluent in her native Slovenian as well as English, French, German, Italian, and Serbian. At 5 foot 11, she also holds the title of the tallest first lady in American history. Interestingly, Melania didn't move to the White House until five months after Donald Trump's inauguration. She explained the delay was so their son, Barron, could finish his school year in New York. Once in Washington, Melania quickly won over the White House staff, who described her as thoughtful and approachable. Melania is also the second Catholic First Lady, following Jacqueline Kennedy. Catholicism is a major religion in Slovenia, where she was born and raised, adding a deeply personal significance to her and President Trump's visit to the Vatican in May 2017. From supermodel to respected First Lady of the United States, Melania Trump, born Milana Nai Knabs on April 26, 1970, in Savinica, Slovenia, then part of Yugoslavia, grew up in a well-off family. Her father managed a car dealership, and her mother worked as a fashion designer, a role that profoundly shaped Melania's early modeling career. It was her mother who guided her through her first fashion show at the age of five. Melania's childhood in Sevnica was filled with happy memories. A childhood friend, Mitradik, shared, We were neighbors and often walked to school together. After school, we would play outside our houses. Melania was a bright student and looked like a model even back then. Another classmate, Nina Purik, added, Melania was a good friend, but she never sought the spotlight. Despite being beautiful and hardworking, she remained grounded. I still cherish those wonderful memories of her. After finishing high school in design and photography in Ljubljana, Melania moved with her family to a high-rise apartment in Slovenia. At 16, she began modeling for Croatian photographers. By 18, she had signed with the modeling agency in Milan, Italy, and in 1992, she was named first runner-up in the Look of the Year competition by Gianna magazine in Ljubljana. Though she initially studied architecture and design at the University of Ljubljana, she soon left to focus fully on her modeling career. Stain Jerko, the photographer who discovered Melania, recalled their first meeting in 1987. I spotted a tall, slim, long-legged girl. He further described her as quiet, kind, hardworking, and never complaining, which is why she did not attract attention. Fluent in five languages, Melania worked effortlessly in Milan and Paris before eventually moving to New York City. There, her career soared as she graced the covers of major fashion magazines like Harper's Bazaar, Vogue, InStyle, Allure, and Vanity Fair. Her life changed forever in September 1998 when she met Donald Trump at a New York Fashion Week event at the Kit Kat Club near Times Square. In a 2005 interview with Larry King, Donald Trump recounted the night he met Melania. He admitted he was initially interested in another woman, but was captivated by Melania's beauty. I went crazy, I said, forget about her. Who is the one on the left? At the party, Trump asked for Melania's number, but she declined, noting he was with someone else. Instead, she requested his number to see which one he'd provide. Impressed, Trump gave her all his numbers. Their first date included dinner and a visit to Mumba, a celebrity hotspot. Melania was struck by Trump's energy. A month later, they flew to Palm Beach, Florida, on Trump's private jet for a weekend getaway. In 2005, they married at the Episcopal Church of Bethesda-by-the-Sea in Palm Beach. 
Trump wanted the wedding broadcast on NBC, but Melania declined. Melania wore a strapless satin duchesse gown by Dior, weighing 60 pounds and featuring intricate embroidery and beading, crafted over 550 hours by 21 seamstresses. The gown was valued at over $100,000. She paired it with a 16-foot veil and later changed into a Vera Wang gown for the reception. Instead of a bouquet, Melania carried a family heirloom rosary. The venue was adorned with over 10,000 flowers, including hydrangeas, roses, orchids, and gardenias, shipped from New York. The reception at Mar-a-Lago hosted over 350 guests, including the Clintons, Simon Cowell, Billy Joel, and Elton John. Chef Jean-Georges von Gerichten prepared a lavish dinner featuring filet mignon, caviar, and cristal champagne. The seven-tier wedding cake, weighing nearly 200 pounds, was made of chocolate and covered in white and gold icing, valued at over $500. Guests received miniature cakes as favors. Multiple outlets, including the New York Times and NBC News, estimated the wedding cost over $1 million, an astronomical sum for the time. Boxing promoter Don King, a guest at the wedding, famously said, this wedding was on par with a royal wedding. Melania's steadfast support through Trump's turbulent times. From the outset of Melania Trump's tenure as First Lady, she became the subject of widespread internet memes and satirical portrayals. Social media buzzed with the free Melania movement, and Saturday Night Live skits depicted her as a queen trapped in Trump Tower, a reluctant political spouse yearning to raise her son Barron and enjoy spa days at Mar-a-Lago. Despite media scrutiny and her own acknowledgments of occasional disagreements with her husband, Melania emerged as one of Donald Trump's most ardent supporters during his re-election campaign. She delivered four significant speeches across key battleground states in the campaign's final stretch. At a rally in Huntersville, North Carolina, Melania criticized Joe Biden, labeling him an untrustworthy career politician. You deserve a president who delivers proven results, not a career politician with empty words and broken promises, she asserted, energizing the crowd. Following Donald Trump's loss to Joe Biden, Melania made her first public appearance at Arlington National Cemetery for Veterans Day on November 11, 2020. Amid criticism of Trump for refusing to concede, Melania tweeted, every legal, not illegal vote should be counted. Unlike Michelle Obama, who graciously invited Melania to tea during the 2016 transition, Melania did not contact Jill Biden to extend congratulations. A particularly viral moment between Melania and Donald occurred on July 19, 2024, during his acceptance speech as the Republican nominee for president. The 93-minute address marked Trump's official entry into the 2024 presidential race against Joe Biden. He began by recounting a harrowing assassination attempt just days earlier, on July 13th. In a certain way, I felt very safe because I had God on my side. I felt that. If I had not moved my head at that very last instant, the assassin's bullet would have perfectly hit its mark, and I would not be here tonight. We would not be together. After the speech, Trump's children, Ivanka, Don Jr., Eric, and Tiffany, joined him on stage. However, the moment that stole the show was Melania's appearance, her first since the near assassination. Wearing a striking red Dior dress, Melania stepped onto the stage as Beethoven's Symphony No. 9 filled the room. Melania Trump, the former First Lady, on stage with him. Oh, and there she is. The two back together again in the public eye. This is an image we have not seen on the campaign trail so far. A big night for the former First Lady, too, deciding this would be the night. The audience erupted as she approached Trump, gently placed a hand on his shoulder, and received a kiss on the cheek and a warm handhold from her husband. I am deeply honored to be joined 
by my amazing wife, Melania. Melania's poise captivated the crowd. According to the Daily Mail, she smiled at Trump's jokes and listened intently as he recounted the traumatic July 13th event. Rising from her seat, she waved to the cheering crowd after Trump honored her in his speech. And Melania, thank you very much. You also did something really beautiful, a letter to America calling for national unity, and it really took the Republican Party by surprise, I will tell you, it was beautiful. Melania Trump described the assassination attempt on her husband as a heinous act. She stated, When I watched that violent bullet strike my husband Donald, I realized my life and Barron's life were on the brink of devastating change. She expressed deep gratitude to the Secret Service and law enforcement officers who risked their lives to protect him. Her concerns intensified after a second assassination attempt on September 15, when Donald Trump was playing golf in Florida. These incidents highlighted her profound worry for her husband's safety and their family's well-being. Discussing her husband's approach, Melania remarked, he's not a politician, he's simply telling the truth. Life isn't all roses or perfect bouquets, it's far from it. But he genuinely wants to make America great again, and I believe he can do it. When asked why she believed her husband could be a great president, Melania responded, he's the best leader, an incredible negotiator, and America needs that. He believes in this country, and I truly think he has all the qualities to be a great president. In a January 2016 interview with Us Weekly, Melania shared insights into their relationship. Donald is romantic in his own unique way when we're together. He's a wonderful husband, and we have a great relationship. Although she acknowledged occasional disagreements on political matters, Melania emphasized her respect for her husband's opinions while sharing her own. Sometimes he agrees and listens, sometimes he doesn't. But that's who he is. I wouldn't want to change him. He knows what it all leads to. Donald and Melania Trump share a unified approach to parenting, emphasizing discipline and values. Donald instills independence in his children while teaching them respect for others. He has also enforced his three no's rule, no drinking, no smoking, and no tattoos, avoiding harmful substances altogether. Breaking these rules comes with a significant consequence, forfeiting inheritance. Trump leads by example, abstaining from alcohol and smoking himself. While they mostly align on parenting, Melania has her preferences, such as encouraging Donald to allow their son Baron to eat less junk food. Melani cherishes motherhood. After giving birth to Baron in 2006, she transitioned into entrepreneurship, launching her jewelry line in 2010 and later introducing a skincare line. However, she balanced her work carefully with her role as a mother. In past interviews, she expressed her devotion to raising Baron before pursuing her passions. I'm a full-time mom. It's the first and most important job I've ever had, she told Parenting. I started working on my business only after Baron began school. While he was at school, I attended meetings, sketched designs and handled everything else. I made his breakfast, took him to and from school, packed his lunch and spent the afternoons with him. Occasionally, I had work obligations. I believe children need to see their mothers doing what they love. It sets a good example and inspires them to find and pursue their own passions in the future. Melania often highlights the similarities between Baron and his father. He's a fascinating kid with so many ideas. He loves golf, he loves business, she said. I always tell Baron to nurture his dreams and make them a reality. Now, a towering young man over six foot seven and in college, Baron has grown up. But Melania's love and dedication to her family remain unchanged. She continues to prioritize caring for her family, putting her role as a mother and wife above all else. Melania Trump's wealth as the billionaire president's wife. On August 16, 2024, 
Newsweek reported that the Federal Election Commission's latest financial disclosure for Donald Trump also offered a glimpse into Melania Trump's earnings and assets. Melania earned an impressive $238,000 for a speaking engagement in April in Palm Beach, Florida. In July, she hosted a second fundraiser at Trump Tower in New York on behalf of the Log Cabin Republicans, raising $1.4 million. While the financial report detailed the event's success, it did not disclose whether Melania received any compensation for her role. Her ventures extend beyond speaking engagements. The former model brought in $330,607 from a licensing deal with designer's manager for selling NFTs, non-fungible tokens. After leaving the White House, Melania launched her own NFT platform, featuring collections such as digital portraits of herself and commemorative designs honoring the Apollo 11 moon landing. To manage these ventures, a company called MKT World LLC was established to oversee her speaking engagements and NFT sale. Melania also has a notable real estate portfolio. Her New York property is valued between $500,000 and $1 million, and she earns $15,000 to $50,000 annually from a rental property in her hometown of Ljubljana, Slovenia. In addition to her assets, the former first lady reportedly holds $250,000 in a savings account. Back in July, Celebrity Net Worth estimated her net worth at around $50 million, further solidifying her position as an accomplished businesswoman. Melania Trump's most talked about fashion moments. Before her role as first lady, Melania Trump had a long career as a model making her fashion choices a consistent point of public fascination. One of Melania's most talked-about appearances was at the 2017 G7 Summit in Italy, where she wore a breathtaking Dolce & Gabbana coat priced at $51,000. The hefty price tag sparked controversy, with analysts pointing out that it exceeded the average annual salary of an American worker at the time, which was $56,516, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. Another iconic fashion moment came as Melania left the White House. She donned a chic all-back outfit from Chanel and Dolce & Gabbana, both European luxury brands, in stark contrast to Vice President Kamala Harris and First Lady Jill Biden, who opted for American designers. Vanessa Friedman, a fashion director for The New York Times, called Melania's ensemble a beautiful ending, noting that, as a private citizen, she was no longer obligated to support American fashion. Yet, her consistent preference for European designers throughout her tenure drew criticism, especially given her husband's America First rhetoric. Some American designers, including Christian Siriano and Marc Jacobs, had also refused to dress her, adding to the controversy. Upon arriving in Florida that same day, Melania swapped her monochromatic look for a bold orange Gucci dress worth $3,700, accessorized with flats and oversized sunglasses. Her style had clearly shifted post-White House, embracing a more casual, relaxed vibe. Melania's collection of Hermes Birkin bags is legendary. One standout was an Ilotacus crocodile Birkin she carried during a meeting with British Prime Minister Theresa May, valued at an eye-watering $65,000. Another time, she returned from Mar-a-Lago with a $12,000 Luge Togo leather Birkin. In June 2017, as she officially moved into the White House, she accessorized with a $13,000 brown Birkin, paired with a Dolce & Gabbana shirt and wide leg pants. Her Birkin bags became a staple, favored for their classic elegance and versatility. For a visit to Poland in July 2017, she carried a crocodile Birkin valued at an astonishing $75,000. Her collection also includes relatively understated pieces, like a $10,000 Hermes trench tote, proving that even her low-key accessories are still the height of luxury. While Melania is best known for her high-end wardrobe, she occasionally opts for more accessible pieces, especially for casual or humanitarian events. 
on visits to a U.S. Air Force base and hurricane hit Puerto Rico, she wore $170 Timberland boots. In August 2017, she sported a $75 gingham button-down from J. Crew while walking with President Trump and Barron on the White House lawn. For informal outings, she has been spotted in $50 or $65 Converse sneakers, a go-to for many political figures, including Michelle Obama. Melania also added Adidas Originals to her collection for $75, even her $188 skinny jeans, though pricey by typical standards, seemed modest compared to her usual wardrobe. Fans of the Trump family also noted her Flotus baseball cap, which she paired with her husband's signature USA cap. While her cap wasn't available for purchase, similar designs could be bought for around $40, often as part of Trump's fundraising merchandise. Whether attending high-profile summits, departing the White House, or stepping out for family events, Melania Trump's appearances never failed to command attention. Her fashion choices, often a mix of sophistication, boldness, and understated practicality, solidified her image not only as a devoted wife and mother, but also as a global style icon whose elegance left an indelible mark on the public eye. Women may not always take center stage in the grand narrative of history, but their role behind the scenes is nothing short of essential. They may not shine as the blazing sun, but they are the radiant stars that light up the night sky. Melania Trump exemplifies this perfectly, serving as a steadfast support and guiding light for her husband, Donald Trump, as he rose to the presidency of the United States. Here's wishing Melania continued grace, strength, and success in all her endeavors. And don't forget to subscribe to Billionaire Dynasty for more inspiring stories and insights. Until next time, take care.